Hey guys, it's Denise here, AKA NOLA Collectibles. Thank you for joining me for part two of the rest of my thrift store jewelry unbagging. This was a bag that I purchased yesterday at my local thrift store for a half price. It was marked for $59, so I got it for half of that. And I've already gone through a good deal of it, pulled out some really interesting things, lots of cool treasures, some silver, some Christmas stuff. And so I'm just going to pick up exactly where I left off some coins, some random coins. I'm going to pick up exactly where I left off and just get right back into it. And then I'll also be doing a recap at the end of the video just to go through my favorite pieces. And if you're into my type of content, I love this content. I love to follow all of the gals here on YouTube that do this type of thing. You know, please like and share and comment and let me know if there's any improvements I can make. As usual, I always want to hear what you guys are into so that I can continue to improve this channel and grow this channel. So this looks like it was part of a, of a purse. It looks like a big purse chain that may have been da dangling off of someone's purse. Not really sure. I've never heard of that brand, but that's that. Here I have a little um, scatter pin brooch. Very lightweight, but it's got some cute enamel detail there. It's very shiny. It's in very good condition. Very pretty. That's lovely. Uh, let's see what else we got here. There's a whole tangle of, okay, this is all like rosaries and religious jewelry here. There's one that's blue glass beads. There's one here that might be broken. It looks like it's wood. There's this one. This is very pretty. This is, um, I think Santa Teresa of Avila. This is very pretty. I love it. I like the red beads. It's, it looks very old. That's very pretty. I like that one a lot. Nice. And some of these look kind of standard. One says Jerusalem. This is Jerusalem. I'm going to take these. They're a little bit knotted up together and some of them are broken. I'm just going to put those probably to the craft lot or I also have like a religious jewelry lot where I, I feel like I went into so many rosaries. So this is just a dyed pearl, faux pearl or dyed pearl necklace with a little bit of a plastic detail there. It's very lightweight. It's got little gold beads in between. It's not bad. It's really not bad at all. It is plasticky though. You can hear it. I have another angel pen here. This one says spirit. It has a little AB crystal um, face and that's what the back looks like. Not seeing any kind of maker. That's cute. Very sweet. Okay. Have this pendant locket. It can be. It looks like it's it's on a chain, but it looks like it also can also be worn as a brooch. Let's see if I can open this up. Okay, so this had some kind of makeup or powder or perfume inside, and you can see it's very. It's marked Avon right there. This must be older because that's actually that's the that's a really old Avon logo. The new logo looks nothing like that. It looks old. It looks, I mean, it looks like it's, I mean, Avon's been around for a long time. So I don't know. I need, I need to do some research on that and see what kind of date I'm looking at. But this is very pretty. And there's no makeup left inside or perfume or whatever it was that was in there. Um, so that's kind of neat. It's interesting. Okay. I have, this is cool. Okay. This looks like um, Native American um, hishi beads with a silver tone clasp. This looks very old, this clasp. It's very, um, it's my cat making an appearance, talking to the birds as per usual. It looks very tarnished, um, but these are pretty, these hishi beads. They're very th like thin and smooth and even. 
cool. Super cool. I need to, um, I think I'll have to do a little bit more research on this, but he, she beads are so interesting because back in the, like back in the day, they, um, they were all made out of shell and they were handmade. And today, you know, they, they have he, she beads in a variety of materials. Like you can find precious gem, he, she beads, uh, tur you know, turquoise is very common, but these feel, these are lovely. There's a really thin, they feel nice and it has this beautiful trumpet closure. So I'm going to have to see if that polishes up, if that, or test it, see if it is sterling silver, but these are fantastic. Really happy about those. I'm really into like Native American jewelry lately. I love turquoise. I love sterling silver, and I feel like I've been finding a lot of it lately as well. Let's see. I have a variety of sparkly rhinestone bracelets on a memory coil. These are not bad. They're very sparkly. So this kind of looks like this. It's actually very pretty. I like the rhinestones and the crystals are really lovely as well. It's nice, nice size of rhinestones. It's pretty glamorous. I like it. What else? This is like the bag that just keeps on giving you guys. I'm so excited. This is like the best bag ever. This one is a beautiful necklace of malachite chips super heavy it's really substantial and I, I really do like malachite quite a bit these are nice nice necklace I'm not usually that into chippies but that one is feels like really good quality and here's another one this one looks like mixed mixed stones I'm not sure this guy is like amethyst. They're all very pastel. Green and the blues. This is very pretty as well and also very heavy. No closures on each either of these. So these are just uh, traditional long chip necklaces, but those are both really lovely. You guys, my cat is like up here crawling on my sh my stuff, so I'm trying to distract her to get off of my stuff. She is wreaking havoc. <laughs> I just I just threw like a piece of jewelry, kids jewelry, across the, the room so she could go chase it. It's working. It's working. Okay, so I just pulled this one out, and this is very interesting. So I thought initially, like when I felt it, it was plastic, but it looks like it's. It's actually, um, this, this actually looks like amber. It looks like different variegated colors of amber because amber does feel like plastic and, you know, or, um, amber and copal because I can see inclusions in between in some of these beads. And so this is interesting because I have never seen any kind of like amber that's like cut like this. It's really beautiful and it feels, it kind of feels like, you know, how amber feels a little bit warmer and kind of sometimes like a little sticky-ish almost. I can't, it's hard to describe what amber feels like, but it definitely has like such a distinct feeling to it. So this is really cool. It's beautiful looking. I'm, I'll have to do research into that to see, because I, like I said, I've never seen any kind of amber that looks like that. And I thought it was plastic initially, but it's actually, it looks like amber. So that's super exciting. Yay. What an awesome bag, you guys. I'm so excited and I'm not even done with it. So let's keep going. So I have this super heavy with a hair on it. Oh, see that? We got a, got a bonus hair. Don't get too excited. Here's some DNA. Um, so this is a really interesting, super, super heavy, um, almost looks like it would be from like Thailand or India, piece of jewelry with these coils, super heavy. I don't know if this would be sterling silver. I don't think it would be. It has a very heavy, super heavy clasp to it, but it's interesting. I like it. It looks like dragon scales. It's really cool. 
if you watch Game of Thrones, it's like reminding me of something like Daenerys would wear. It's just like that heavy, scaly look to it, and it's um, it's really interesting. So that's a nice find. Put that right there. Okay, I have a broken, it looks like a broken brooch. It's missing, oh, hello. Here's the, here's the middle piece, so that's pretty. It actually looks like it would be, a, it's a hand-painted um, piece of floral artwork there. So that's very pretty. I don't know what this would be made of. It's plastic or resin, mm, maybe ceramic, maybe painted ceramic. I'm glad that's in there. So I, I think I could, I would be able to fix that. It's very pretty. a little little beaded <laughs> bag on a glass seed bead necklace with a little bit of a fringe detail here again it's got a little cat on it <laughs> little beaded and ceramic cat you wear around your neck I guess and carry whatever you need to carry in a pouch um, I have this set of pins deco pins and so it says BFF so all the many ways that you need to express that your BFF is your BFF, right there. Put that with the kids' jewelry. Here is another Christmas brooch, so cute. Green crystals, it is, this one unfortunately is missing a bunch of crystals, so you can see like, oh, there's some spaces there. That's too bad, because it is really cute. It's very sparkly. What else? There's a bag, the bag within the bag, which you guys know I'm all about. And I like to reuse the bag, so I'm never disappointed. Okay, so we have some rings in here. And I have a necklace. Let's see. Okay. It's like a gold tone necklace with a little square on it. And then these look, these are cool. These are stack rings. Those are very pretty. They feel super heavy. Let's see. Let me see if I can spot any kind of name on this. Okay. That's exciting. Okay, so these are Michael Kors. All three of them. And they are meant to, I guess, be... Ooh, ooh, don't drop the jewelry. Meant to be worn together. These are so cool, you guys. Let's see if I can put them on. I'm gonna just throw them like this. How cool is that? They're very modern. There's like a blue faux lapis and then the gold tone one and this crystal one, which doesn't look like it's missing any crystals. So that's super neat. It's a great find. I love that. Michael Kors jewelry is pretty expensive, so um, I wouldn't have, wouldn't be surprised if something like this did go for over a hundred dollars originally or so. They're very heavy, nicely made. That's exciting. And then in there, there was also this pair of gold tone hoop earrings. Let's, oh. it doesn't look like the base, the bottom of the earring itself is magnetic. So maybe these are gold. They're actually, they're very pretty. They're very shiny. I don't know if they're also Michael Kors. I don't think they would. They wouldn't. They would be magnetic, right? Yeah, the rings are magnetic. So I'll have to test these earrings. They're very pretty. And then this this gold tone. This one's not magnetic either. This is very pretty. That's a nice looking modern dainty little chain right there. So I'll have to test this one as well. That's great. Great little collection of jewelry. The earrings are nice and these rings are beautiful. Really nice. Yay, excitement. All right, I have this little brooch, um, this little pendant. Kind of looks like a brooch. It's monogrammed on the back, it says RR, I think. This is pretty. Just a little floral detail and it has a twist closure. 
this is actually very lovely as well nice little antique vintage piece i like the chain very good condition very nice um all right this is a broken tennis bracelet see I'm not seeing any maker on it that's too bad though because it would have been cute it's got like a bezel set stone this Ooh, this is a pin. Be careful of that. This was looks like a little apple pen, little apple pin, lapel pin. And then it does say something inside. I think it says Jubilee, I want to say. Sweet. It's heavy. It's a nice little pin. Okay. Kind of getting to the bottom of this bag. Single earrings. This is a tangle of necklaces that I am not going to untangle, but they're pretty standard. Um, what you would get at like New, New York & Co. or some Express or something like that. Here is a circle pin. Gold tone with pearl and rhinestone detail. This is very nice. It doesn't look like any of the stones or the pearls are missing. It's really pretty. It's like a little laurel. I like that. That's beautiful. It's a really sweet little pin. I have some assorted pal jewelry pouches. <laughs> Doesn't feel like there's anything in there. I'll throw that with the little cat bag and reuse that. I have a standard pair of hoop earrings here. Pretty basic. Um, I have, I thought this was broken for a second, but it's not. I don't remember what, who makes this brand with this little crystal detail. I'm going to have to ha have to do a little bit of research on that. Um, but this is kind of like a faux Van Cleef and Arpels um, Alhambra style necklace with a little mother of pearl detail. It's actually very pretty. It's very shiny, but I know it, I know it's not Van Cleef and Arpels. That's for sure. But this is not bad. It's in good condition that this, they move. So that's not bad. Just have to figure out who that maker is with this little charm detail with the pistol on it it's actually heavier than it looks I have a little wooden homemade angel pin I have this pendant not quite sure what this is looks like that I have this big oops pen this big brooch looks like a paisley like a piece of paisley with all kinds of different crystals looking to see if any are missing doesn't look like any are actually not seeing a maker's mark but that's very pretty that's neat nice very nice I have this little Hello Kitty children's necklace, always cute. Sanrio. I have this copper tone pumpkin pin. He's cute. Looks like that. A winky face keychain goes in the kids pile. Um, I have so. I have two of these <laughs> fashion enamel hat pins, one blue and one in white. They look like that's still on the card, made in Thailand. Those are kind of cute. Brand new. Oh, this gigantic cuff, gold tone cuff. This is actually in decent condition. Very shiny, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of wear going on there. It's pretty. It's lightweight though. 
this more Avon. This is um, Avon meant to look older. It's kind of like that camphor glass styling with a little crystal in the middle, but this is very cute. Even though Avon is trying to make jewelry that looks older, I, I like this. I think it's very pretty. And it looks like it may have come off of a necklace, but it's nice on its own and I can just throw that on something else and it would look just as pretty. All right, I think we're kind of getting to the end here. This is another cat figural brooch. I think it is missing something. It looks like there should have been a stone right there in the middle. Gold tone, brushed metal. I'm not seeing any kind of maker's mark on it, but that's a shame. So I wonder if that stone's in here. So I'll just put him to the side. These are these are all broken components. Here's the cross from one of the rosaries. I'll put these guys with craft. This pin is making me nervous. It's huge. This is a little metal daisy pin brooch. Has this this little dangly right here. I'm not sure if that's meant to hold your eyeglasses. Probably is, right? You tell me if you think that this is for glasses or for something else. It's very sweet. Looks very 60s, 70s for sure. It's not in, not in terrible condition. The chain is very nice. It's different. It's the first time I found something like that. Okay, I have a statement necklace tangled up. Oh, I have a pretty, pretty standard statement necklace. Um, feels cheapy, not the best quality, um, but it's got all the crystals there. It's fully intact and is not in bad condition. So there's that. And then I have all of these pearl, faux pearl or freshwater pearl dyed earring, uh, earrings, necklaces. There's a whole bunch of them here like three or four of them in white and red. There's some purple ones here. I'm not really sure where these might have come from <laughs> or, you know, if they even would have like a brand or a label on them, but there's a lot of them. Let's see. This is a US stamp laminated into a pin, 29 cent stamp honoring those that serve. Oh, it's an earring. <laughs> so you can wear your stamp earrings. <laughs> That's very interesting. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Get some more little coins from the arcade. I have these vintage clippies. These are very big and heavy and kind of groovy, right? Oops. Huge. With rhinestone crystal detail doesn't look like there's any kind of maker's mark on the back. We have those. Very groovy. Um, I have this. These earrings. These are beautiful. Silver and gold tone with a little almost like a carved onyx detail. That's very pretty. Feels he super heavy clip earrings. Not seeing any maker on there, but these are very nicely made. Very heavy. I love the carved detail on the on the dangled portion of it. That's beautiful. Oh. So that's not that's not bad. Ooh. I have this gemstone cross. Don't don't know if this would be real gemstones, but it's got marcasites on it. Okay, and then the bottom does say 925 right down here. If you could see that. So I don't know if this is silver. 
I'm not sure if those would be genuine stones. The green coloration specifically to me is a little bit questionable because this that doesn't look like real peridot color. And I'm not sure what the blue stone would be because it's so large and it's pretty expensive to do those types of cuts on genuine stone. So I'm not sure. It could be faux in just the sterling silver setting with marcasite. It's very pretty. It's I mean, it's very large as well. So that's a really nice, it's a really nice find. Awesome. What else do we have? There is, an, is this another cat pen? Another cat pin. <laughs> this one of questionable shape. I'm not sure. I think it's a cat. Fashion brooch. Still on card. Still wrapped up. Looks like that. Okay. I have this. Another. This one is also on the card. This is Sonoma. So this is the brand that comes from Kohl's. And it still has the Kohl's price tag on it for $24. It's just this modernish geometric design. And this is it, you guys. Kind of like coming to the end of the barrel here. So I've got oh, there's a couple earrings. I have these round clippies, similar to the other ones. Um, large plastic stones, gold tone. Not very exciting. Ooh, hello, 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 hello. I have these beautiful silver clippies with, I don't know what kind of stone that might be. Let me see. Okay. This is their um, 925 silver, and they do say um, TJ, Tijuana. so that's made in Tijuana, the TJ. Um, Back in the 70s and 80s, Mexico started regulating their production of silver um, where they created a system to identify where the silver jewelry was made. So the TJ was the first initials were usually indicative of the city of where the silver came. So in this case, it would likely be Tijuana or Texas. I think Tijuana. I'm, yes, I think it's Tijuana. So and then um, the J would be the silversmith's initial. And then it does say Mexico there. So these are gorgeous and they're very heavy. I'm not sure what kind of stone this is, but they're beautiful. I love them. I would actually wear these. That's a fantastic find. Super huge. Love it. Yay. What else? What else? There is this pair of earrings here and they're married to each other so they, somebody put them together let me see if i can get them unhooked oops dropping i'm dropping the backs which is not good and so let's see there's this little rhinestone earring i'm not sure if there's a pair for this much at the bottom of the bag here. Yeah. I am not seeing a pair for this dude. I am seeing another little leaf pendant. So that adds to a total of three. I'm just pulling out something that was stuck to the bag. It was stuck to the tape on the bag. And it's a watch that's inside of another bag. And so this is just one of these um, Geneva watches. Looks like that. It's brand new. It's it got all the original wrapping on it and everything. So just a Geneva ladies watch in the bottom of that bag. So that was a really interesting bag of goodies you guys i'm pretty excited by some of the things that i found really great great stuff i'm gonna put some of this aside and let's recap favorites so i love this um native american hishi necklace this with the sterling silver clasp that's a beautiful find i love these mexican earrings with the blue stone i'm gonna have to research what kind of stone that is those are gorgeous. I love the Michael Kors stack rings. 
super heavy, fantastic quality. I love this sterling silver pendant, this modernist sterling silver pendant, this sterling silver cross with a crystal or stone detailing was very, very nice. I do like these clippies with the, with the carved stone. Um, those are fantastic quality. This little Avon pendant is adorable. Really, really sweet. I like this big, bad, heavy, strange looking necklace as well. This is a really cool ass find. I love this. Um, I don't know why the word, the amber doesn't want to flow from my mouth today. This weird amber oblong stone amber necklace with copal and amber. That's just the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen amber like that. I did like all of these like the chippy necklaces, like the malachite chippies was really cool. And also this amethyst stone chippy necklace. There's just so many great things in this bag. Um, this brooch was very pretty. Um, that was a great little find. This hand painted brooch, also a great vintage little find. Beautiful, beautiful. I did like these, you know, these abalone shell on card earrings. Not bad at all. This Avon, this heavy Avon pendant, gold tone. That was a good one. The apple pendant, this little apple pendant was very sweet. Just great stuff. This men's tie bar with the red stone, also very nice. So this big paisley crystal brooch, huge. Some of the Christmas brooches are really cute as well. This Avon Christmas brooch, that was very sweet, all intact, nice condition. So lots of great stuff in this bag. I'm super happy. A lot of interesting finds, great vintage finds, sweet, sweet little pieces of jewelry, great condition. So I think overall, you know, I'm super happy. I've gotten some zingers lately from the thrift store with bags that were not so fabulous. So this definitely makes up for it. So anyway, thank you for coming along on this journey, you guys. Um, I appreciate you being here and hanging with me and doing this jewelry bag on bagging. And I hope you enjoy the content. And again, you know, please like, subscribe, shoot me a DM, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. And as per usual, I, th I thank you and appreciate your support and hope you'll tune in for the next one. Thanks so much and have a great day.